Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism and narcissistic relationships. And here's my question for you. Drop it in the comments if you have an answer. Maybe you don't know yet. You will after you watch this video. Are you being gaslighted at work? We are too familiar. Anyone watching this channel certainly is. We're all too familiar with being gaslighted in our close relationships or in our family relationships. Being told we didn't say stuff we said or do stuff we did or being told stuff that didn't happen that did and that we are insane. It's the core of every narcissistic relationship. But what about at work? Gaslighting at work can be maddening and it can really hurt our careers. Let's talk about some classical ways that people are gaslighted at work. Number one, you do the work and it is not acknowledged or someone else gets the credit for it. This can be particularly galling. We know that narcissistic workplaces are triangulated workplaces and that means the favored employees may get credit for doing very little or even for the work that you do. At first you may be shocked. Over time you will get angry and if you push back on what's happening you may be painted as petty for needing credit and yet you may know that that might be the only way to get advanced or get a raise and it may even affect your paycheck if you're doing all this work and it's not acknowledged. It can be very confusing until you understand it and over time you may find yourself getting anxious knowing that the credit for your work will be stolen and that obviously can leave you a lot less engaged in the workplace. Number two way of you knowing you're gaslighted at work is when they constantly move the goalposts. Your schedule may be changed without your consent or your designated vacation time moved around. And you will be convinced that you had a certain schedule planned around it. And the supervisors or leadership may straight up lie or tell you that you remembered your schedule wrong. Obviously, this can wreak havoc with your life. Once again, if you push back, you may get feedback like, this is the job, you need to be flexible. In essence, pathologizing you for simply wanting a fair answer. You may be more than willing to work hard, but having the basic parameters moved around like schedules, and then the switch in your schedule being denied is gaslighting and also makes it impossible to have any kind of a life. Number three is making it about the greater good. And if you try and push back, they will accuse you of not caring about the team or being a good team member or not caring about the clients or the mission and the vision. So imagine that you have been very devoted to your workplace and doing good work there for years, making sacrifices when you needed to, but over time, financial needs or just wanting to be appropriately recognized just on par with what was happening in your industry lead you to advocate for yourself. Ask for better working conditions or better pay or flexibility, whatever it is you need and have earned. And instead of your ask being acknowledged, instead you're met with, well, I guess you just no longer care about the mission or our clients or whatever it is, the lack of commitment they're implying. You feel insane because you know you have made numerous sacrifices over the years for the team, for this employer, and simply asking for basic recognition so as to be on par with others at your level is completely denied. Number four, you are mysteriously left off of important email chains. Everyone else gets the email, and it was an important email, but you find out about it when someone asks you a question and you give them a, huh? It may result in you missing a deadline, a meeting, some other important information, or just leave you feeling lost. I remember a colleague once not being told an out of town meeting was canceled and found out on his way to the airport. It also can be expensive. When you ask about it, you may be met with minimization and it wasn't that big a deal or it wasn't intentional. And yet, you may still be getting the other inconsequential emails that go to everyone else, just not the important ones, and yet when you bring it to anyone's attention, you're the one who's painted as something wrong with you. Number five, 
the usual gaslighting stuff, right? Colleagues or supervisors who deny they said what they said or that you, that you, after you were promised something and it wasn't delivered to you, you're told that it never happened, it was never promised, that you're being dramatic, what's wrong with you, that sort of stuff. Again, it can leave you feeling as though you are losing a grip on reality at work and leave you feeling more inefficient at work. Sometimes these pseudo promises are made as part of a larger future faking play. This is urgent. We need this done right away. And after that, we promise you're going to get this. You promise you're going to get that. And then you hustle and you get the urgent thing done. And then the promised thing doesn't happen. You did your part. They didn't do theirs. And then they deny the promise. It can feel really awful. Number six is that claims about equity and diversity that just simply aren't true. You may notice that things are being done inequitably wherever you work. Advancement, raises, opportunities, favoritism in the boss's inner circle, um, not advancing diverse people in the workplace. But then the employer will turn around and say, we are committed to an equitable and diverse workplace. And when you push back, you may be met with, we're equitable. So any challenges with advancement, and if you're not getting advanced, must be your fault. Despite you turning in excellent performances, you then doubt reality because you're doing good work. It's not being recognized. Number seven is when folks are having to take the blame for a leader who will say, I never said that. You may have actually been part of the group that acted in accordance with what a narcissistic leader says. Everyone might. And then when the organization faces any kind of fallout from that, it's the people who executed the orders who may get nailed and not the person who issued the order. They will fall on a, I never said that or you misheard that. The leader is willing to let then, the narcissistic leader is willing to let the employees take the fall. Gaslighting in the workplace means that everyone is simply taking the fall for simply following the leader's recommendations and orders, and the leader may often end up protected. Gaslighting can absolutely do a real number on you in the workplace, and you really do waste time figuring out what is going on because your reality is being doubted regularly. It can make work tremendously stressful, anxiety provoking, unsatisfying, and lead you to lose any pleasure you get from work. You might find yourself ruminating about the confusion and the gaslighting as well. So what do you do about this, right? Well, number one, you got to document the hell out of everything. There's nothing you can do in a workplace without documentation. You also do things like you avoid having meetings alone. You build alliances with trusted associates. So at a minimum, hopefully, you know, someone has your back. Having a mentor who can remind you of best practices or expectations and salaries in your industry is important. After being gaslighted for so long, you may, even know, you may not even know what's right anymore. And it, may, it doesn't have to be someone who works in your company, just someone to be sort of an anti-gaslighting force who knows the industry in the midst of a confusing workplace. And at some point, you may just have to call it quits. Some corporate or organizational cultures are simply irreparable. And just like narcissistic people don't change, neither do narcissistic cultures. Life is too short and work is too worky for us to be gaslighted at work. Don't let it happen. And that idea of, of narcissistic workplaces being awful and triangulated and you being gaslighted <clears throat> is simply not good for your health. Thanks again.